bad. It kind of tastes like yeah, the totally Eucharist in church, just a little bit. <laughs> the Eucharist, yeah. There's nothing holy about this milk, though. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Alyssa. And today we're drinking lactose-free lactose milk. milk. I wanted to try lactose-free milk because I've never tried it and I never know which one to get, either when I'm getting coffee or when I'm at the store. So I just want the answer to know what's best. It's funny you say that because I just think milk sucks and I want an alternative. So milk number one here is Fair Life 2% lactose free milk. All right, chin Cheers. chin. Cheers. Oh. First impressions? Mostly like milk, but like something's a little wrong. Whatever like the milk equivalent to hoppy is in beer, it's kind of like that. To me, I'd say it just tastes like it's warm, but it's not warm. It's cold, but it tastes like it's been sitting out too long. It's kind of rubbery, but not bad. It's kind of smooth, and I like that. I feel like I'm in a whiskey commercial or something. Okay, so this time we're drinking sweetened vanilla flavored almond milk, and we already have it poured for us because they don't trust us anymore. I had my pouring rights revoked. Sorry. All right, cheers. Ooh. A lot stronger flavor this time. I think that's the vanilla. I do like that better, but I don't know if that's 100% fair. It's a lot less creamy, which I do like. It's definitely sweeter. It doesn't taste like plain milk. It tastes like milk that you already had cereal in. Yeah, yeah, good analogy. So our next milk is Califia Farms soy-free coconut milk. I'm a little worried about this one. It's we it's, haven't heard the best about it. It's kind this of one. viscous when just swirling it around. It looks like the uh, fake lava that they used to put on the Hot Wheels things that you crash into. Let's just try the milk, okay. shall we? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's really bad. That's really bad. Where do I begin? I mean, I wasn't going to spit it out, but. That's really bad. I understand why you spit it out. Okay, so we we have a consensus on this. Bad. It kind of tastes like yeah, the totally Eucharist in church, just a little bit. <laughs> the Eucharist, yeah. There's nothing holy about this milk, though. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. It's very bitter. And like watery, but also textured. I feel like I just suckled on the teat of a cow, which is kind of what I was trying to avoid by going lactose-free, right? But I feel like I've just gone further and further <laughs> down that slippery slope. The coconut has burned us. Yeah, don't recommend that. And now we have Califia Farms gluten-free oat milk. And this one is specifically no gums added. I don't know what that means, but hopefully we don't need the gums. I wonder if that's what makes it so brown. The it's, lack of gum? The color is a little scary to me, but... Okay. Cheerio. Oh wow, I, I don't know what to say about that. It definitely tastes like oats. <laughs> I need another sip actually. <laughs> My only description is oats. You wanna hear a kinda gross, kinda sad story? Sure. So when I was younger, my grandma used to scoop pudding out of a disposable cup under her fingernail, and she'd have me lick it off, and it kind of tastes like that. I'm a little traumatized. It tastes like this under is... fingernail pudding. My, my childhood is coming back to me, and let's just say my taste buds are glad my grandma's in an urn right now, halfway across the country. Okay, I think we're done with this one then. <laughs> So for my ranking, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking the vanilla almond milk, best. And then these are pretty close. I'd put the oat milk next just because this one tasted a little bit sour to me. And then this lovely one can go last because no one wants to drink this again, especially not Matt. <laughs> You're right. For my number one milk, I'm doing the almond milk. Uh, but number two, I'm gonna mix things up a bit. I'm going with the Fairlife. It was a little creamier. That was good. Yeah, get the shit out of here. <laughs> this is number three. That's my ranking. Take it as you will. 
So overall impressions. Alyssa, would you like to start? Yeah, I, I've learned that almond milk has a lot of potential there. I could enjoy a good almond milk instead of regular milk, you know, when I'm dunking my cookies in milk or going to the coffee shop. Are you worried about the richness? That's what scared me about it is you made your cereal comment and it got me thinking. What if you add something sugary to this? Will it be overkill? I guess that's when you could do plain almond milk. I suppose that is another option and definitely an area for further research to explore. Personally, the oat milk, if it weren't for my childhood trauma involved with that, I might have liked it better. The color threw me off a bit. I think my favorite part of that one was the color. You like that? Yeah, it felt uh. like it was supposed <laughs> to taste different because it was a different color. That is certainly an interesting perspective there. The coconut milk. I have nothing more to say about that. <laughs> Overall, the only one that I would really want to drink again is the vanilla almond milk. I would have to agree with that. I do no, feel that this was not a very informative experience. But at the same time it was, because now you know that you hate coconut milk and that you should avoid oat milk. That is true. So I feel better because now I know what not to waste my money on. I mean, I wasn't going to buy milk anyway. Well, I'm glad you had this experience down memory lane, at Yeah, least. the real milk was the friends made along the way, as they say. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us, and I hope you took more away from this than Alyssa and I did. Also, you guys should check out our article where we put these thoughts into words. <laughs> <laughs>